Chico found us just in time to say goodbye. So we're in our van. He always finds us right at the right moment. <laughs> <laughs> Feria time in San Marcos. Everybody's setting up. The blankets. Sun passes. Hola. All these little pop up shops happening. Zapatos. Yeah, so the feria officially starts on the 25th of April. Today is the 19th. So there's just little shops starting to set up and make some sales before the feria. So every day more and more pop up and it will be like that all the way up until the 25th. 25th is kind of the culmination of it all. And then, 10 days later, <laughs> it resurrects. <laughs> it's quite entertaining. Churros. Plantanos. Churros. Guaros. And this area over here, we're over by the church, <clears throat> is the arcade. And the fair. We have all kinds of games for the kids, more Paco clothing for sale, foosball, Ferris wheel, two, si two sizes of Ferris wheels, and this thing that is uh, the sea dragon, really spooky. <laughs> it's a, a bit of a death wish, I mean, um, they just kind of prop these things up on cinder blocks and pieces of wood, <laughs> as you can see. And then it goes way up there. I rode it once and I will never ride it again. <laughs> I was fearing for my life. <laughs> so if you dare, at your own risk, there it is. I'll come back and do some more videos as this whole scene progresses, but just wanted to give you an overview of the beginnings of the setup. And then when it's in full swing, I'll show you the, the full effect. We have galletas. As you can see, there's a really great variety. <laughs> Basically small or large. And some peanuts. <laughs> some more peanuts, fried chicken, and more cookies. Cookies, cookies, cookies galore. Okay. Tacos, fried chicken. Taco, tacos. Hey, Pedro. Taco tacos. <laughs> yeah, so there's several stands, and then this side will all be vendors within another few days. More tacos. So I'll show you that when it gets up and rolling more. True Guatemalan fashion. We have ketchup and hot sauce on the pizza. That's right, folks. <laughs> That's the way we do it here. how it is. Okay. Let's try this. We got some ham, some pepperoni, <laughs> a little bit of pepper. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Feria.
The Fair of San Marcos La Laguna is an annual celebration for the patron saint of the town. If you are planning to travel to San Marcos in April, it is wise to know these dates, as it gets really, really loud. Specifically, there is live music blasting until 1.30 in the morning, as well as fireworks at all hours of the day and night. If you are coming to the lake seeking a quiet meditation retreat, we recommend avoiding these dates, April 23rd through 26th, as well as May 2nd. Otherwise, Feria can be a joyous time to sample the local traditions of this lakeside Mayan village, which is so full of heart and color. We particularly enjoy witnessing the families coming out in their best apparel to partake in the fiesta.
our final night at the Sound Temple. Burning documents, journals. Many, many years of morning pages. Maybe not many, many, but four years. <laughs> Let's see if I can rip out pages with one hand while holding the camera. <laughs> things I had been holding on to since Florida, like vehicle regist registrations and checkbooks. And I haven't written a check in five years. What am I doing with five checkbooks? Yeah, time to go. <laughs> bye bye. Just wanna say hello. Just wanna say hello. Just wanna say hello. Ooh, feels good. Lightening the load. How are you feeling this final night in San Marcos? I'm a little frustrated with Tara because she, she doesn't take orders sometimes. <laughs> sometimes she's really good. Tara, come here. Come here. Yeah, she's a good girl. Yeah, she's, she's a little, sometimes she's a little delayed. She, she, likes to, she likes to show her independence and freedom. And then, then she comes, right? Right? Then you come. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then she could. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the belly. Look at that white belly. I miss that belly. <laughs> that soft white belly. Final morning at the lake. Can't believe it's already here. Taking one final walk with Tara, gonna find Nico, and then finish packing and head to the city, Guatemala City. So here we go. Atitlan. Ah, grateful for a clear morning and my last morning to see these magnificent volcanoes. Wow. Never gets old. Never ever gets old. Sure, I've been so blessed to be here all this time. Four years. Four years at this time. Oh, Tara's waking up, Nico. <laughs> Good morning, Nico! <laughs> what if he is? <laughs> That's his new home. He lives down here by the lake now. Worked out perfect. Miss Tara will stay at the Sound Temple and live on her legacy as the Temple Sound Hound. Oh, and here comes the puppies. Oh. 
There he is. What's up, Nico? Good morning. <laughs> oh, you do. <laughs> Your sister always knows where to find you. <laughs> of course, he has to pee on the pole. <laughs> well, that's a dog's life, eh? Dogs are the most entertaining part about Sin Barcos. That's <laughs> what so we call it, Sin Barcos. Ah, I'm gonna miss these guys. I'm gonna miss you guys. So it's official, we made it. <laughs> We're making it out alive. <laughs> Not many do. <laughs> it does feel like it's easy to get trapped here. Life is just so easy going, beautiful. I mean, how can you beat that? Really, truly. Wow. Uh, but it's a chapter closing. It's actually reflecting what it feels like right now after four years here. And it reminds me of when I finished university. And the whole time I was in university, I did not want to leave. I was looking for ways to prolong it. In fact, I spent five and a half years at the university because I didn't want it to end. <laughs> and then finally that last semester, I was so done, so ready to move on, new chapter. And actually a few friends and I ended up traveling a bit. We spent a whole month and we went to London, India, Thailand, and China just to see what's on the other side of the world. Before we started our careers, we all had careers lined up in engineering <laughs> and we wanted to take that time because we knew once we started these careers that it would be very difficult to travel and when we're first starting out you know you only get like two weeks vacation a year crazy ah <sighs> so this time feels similar in ways just in that this chapter is closing we're moving on to new adventures. We don't know where we're gonna end up yet. Uh, we're flying into Oaxaca on Tuesday. So today we go to the city, Guatemala City, then we go to Oaxaca tomorrow. And we just booked three days so far, that's it. So the world is our oyster. <laughs> we do plan to go to the coast, check out some locations for baptisms and warm up a bit. It's been cold this year <laughs> here in Atatlan. We are 5,000 feet in the mountains elevation here. So yeah, it gets cold. Uh, it's been a cold winter. It's been a rainy spring. And last rainy season, which was this time last year, all the way through to December, <laughs> it rained. It was cold. And as you can see here, it's the warmest time of year and I'm in a sweater. <laughs> now granted, I lived in Florida for 25 years, so I have no tolerance for cold and I'm ready to get to sea level, decompress, ground and uh, relax and start this new adventure. Really tune in and listen deep. You'll see, <laughs> I'll show you later how little amount of stuff that we now have. We sold so much. We donated a ton. Um, final last hours here, we're going to be just basically giving things away and selling a few last things. And then we're off. So we're getting down to basically two backpacks each and our crystal bowls and the gong. <laughs> so it should be an adventure. We're definitely light to travel. And we look forward to seeing what's ahead, just listening, tuning in to the Holy Spirit and uh, awaiting our next orders <laughs> from above. So much love to all. Nico and Tara enjoying the lake. I'm so glad they're going to be able to stay in this dog heaven. It is absolutely a heaven for dogs here. Yeah, and we were thinking about traveling with 
either of them, particularly Tara, because um, Nico would just be so impossible. I, I've never been able to even get him on a boat, so <laughs> getting him on a plane or something, I don't know. Uh, and Tara, it was just going to be too complicated and too expensive um, to do all the logistics. Plus, for what? To bring her into an apartment in a city that's super hot? She's nice. She's used to the nice, cool weather here. They both, uh, here in Atatlan, it's like the perfect temperature for dogs all year long. And um, when it's hot, she actually goes into hiding because she can't handle the heat even here. So yeah, <laughs> it's better for both of them to be able to stay and play. Nico is pretty much free now. He roams the beach every day. You may see him in YouTube videos. If you look up Atatlan, he's kind of famous. He likes to pop in on people's yoga tutorials or breathwork tutorials by the lake. <laughs> You'll know him. I call him the this, this San Marcos spirit animal. And if you go to any party here, he will be there because if he hears sound, he goes to it. <laughs> and Tara, she'll be at the sound temple. So you can visit her there. She'll be the official sound hound and live on the legacy there. So we're very grateful. Feeling so blessed. And we'll see you on the other side in Mexico. Bye bye, Tara. Oh, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> right, here we go. Oh, bye bye yeah. to the sound temple. Bye. Live on. As you're meant to, with Stefan, wow. yay! And hello to the Sound Temple. Everybody come visit oh, Stefan God. at the Sound Temple. <laughs> He's holding down the fort. So much love. With Tara. Tara's holding down the fort mm -hmm. too. Yeah, Tara's got it. That's right. <laughs> the dynamic duo. And this is all we got. Here we go. Fun boy Among thousands and thousands, my beloved is the most beautiful. Among thousands and thousands, yes, you are. Nico found us just in time to say goodbye. It's <laughs> really so been. Finds us right at the right moment. <laughs> 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 Bye, buddy. We love you. Good boy, okay? Good boy.